Robert Toshi Kuroda was an important player in American military history, especially during World War II. Kuroda was born on November 8, 1922, on Oahu, Hawaii, a U.S. territory at the time. He was the son of Japanese immigrants. During World War II, Kuroda was a member of the United States Army's 442nd Regimental Combat Team. This unit was primarily made up of Japanese Americans, many of whom served with distinction despite prejudice and discrimination based on their background. Kuroda's acts throughout the war garnered him praise for his bravery and selflessness. On October 20, 1944, in Bruyers, France, Kuroda's unit was pinned down by German fire. Despite the danger, Kuroda deliberately rushed the enemy position, leading his unit in an assault that captured numerous enemy soldiers and destroyed two machine gun nests. During the assault, Kuroda was fatally wounded by hostile fire. For his actions that day, Robert Toshi Kuroda was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor, the United States military's highest and most distinguished reward for combat courage. His brave efforts embodied the ethos of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, and the sacrifices made by Japanese-American soldiers during World War II. Kuroda's legacy endures as a symbol of bravery, patriotism, and Japanese-Americans' efforts to the defense of the United States during one of its most difficult periods. His narrative highlights the variety and resiliency of the American military, as well as the ongoing fight for equality and acknowledgement for those who serve their country. Robert Toshi Kuroda In 1944, a tumultuous year marked by the wounds of global struggle, the echoes of war reverberated across continents as nations fought for power amidst the chaos of combat. During this storm, a group of brave souls rose from the shadows, their heroism, and sacrifice destined to be woven into the fabric of history. Among these heroes stood Sergeant Robert Toshi Kuroda, a character whose tenacious spirit and unyielding drive would leave an indelible mark on the sacred halls of the 442nd Infantry Regiment, forever etching his name on the annals of heroism. The story of Robert Toshi Kuroda unfolds like the intricate spirals of a cosmic dance, with each twist and turn exposing layers of bravery, sacrifice, and tenacity. Yet, it is in the unexpected finding of a Kuroda keepsake in the soil of Bruyers, France, in November 2021, that the whole profundity of his narrative finds resonance. To fully understand the significance of this revelation, one must travel through time, following the Kuroda family from their ancestral home in Hiroshima, Japan. Their migration to the United States, a place of promise and opportunity, preceded the heinous events that would permanently alter the landscape of Hiroshima. For it was on that terrible day, August 6, 1945, that the world witnessed the unspeakable horrors unleashed by the atomic bomb, an unprecedented act of devastation that would echo throughout history. The tens of thousands of innocent lives lost at Hiroshima served as a harsh reminder of the armory of war's limitless potential for destruction. Following this devastating catastrophe, as the world dealt with the magnitude of its repercussions, Emperor Hirohito's announcement of Japan's unconditional surrender on August 15, 1945, was a watershed point in human history. It was a declaration made in the midst of unfathomable catastrophe, recognizing the futility of continued resistance in the face of tremendous devastation caused by a new and most cruel bomb. And in the ashes of battle, the memory of Robert Toshi Kuroda remains as a beacon of hope and tenacity, a monument to the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity. During the turbulence of World War II, the American branch of the Kuroda family sought refuge in the relative safety of the United States, insulated from the tragic events taking place across the Pacific. However, their sanctuary was not without its own setbacks and difficulties. While spared the horrors of nuclear catastrophe in their native country, the Kuroda family went through their own furnace of anguish and loss. It is assumed that Kuroda's relatives and acquaintances in Hiroshima were killed in the terrible atomic strike, a tragedy exacerbated by the loss of a son to Nazi warfare in France. These traumatic experiences had an enduring impact on the family, casting a shadow of loss and despair that would last long after the war was over. The narrative of Robert Toshi Kuroda, born on November 8th, 1922, in Aiea, Hawaii, 
takes place against the backdrop of a country battling with its own demons of discrimination and bigotry. Despite being a place of opportunity, Hawaii was not immune to the prejudices of the time, and Kuroda, as a Nisei, felt the sting of racism from an early age. Despite these hurdles, he persevered, determined to build out a future for himself in an uncertain environment. Kuroda, a trained electrician, traversed the intricacies of wartime America, where distrust and doubt hung over the Japanese-American community. Following the attack on Pearl Harbor, the loyalty of people like Kuroda was put into question. While the administration considered how to deal with the perceived threat posed by its own citizenry, this crisis of loyalties culminated in President Franklin D. Roosevelt signing Executive Order 9066 in February 1942, a harsh move that deprived Japanese descendants of their civil liberties and opened the path for their forced transfer and imprisonment. The next months saw the widespread removal of Japanese Americans from their homes to remote assembly centers before being herded into lonely relocation centers spread across the western United States and Arkansas. Families like the Kurodas were kept in limbo behind barbed wire fences and guard towers, their freedoms constrained by the very government that was supposed to protect them. It was a dark chapter in American history, filled with injustice and persecution, as hundreds were imprisoned merely because of their ethnicity. Despite this, stories of strength and rebellion developed, as individuals such as Robert Toshi Kuroda refused to be defined by their confined conditions. Their spirit was unscathed by the sufferings of war, a tribute to the eternal power of hope and humanity in the face of tragedy. And, while the scars of incarceration have faded over time, the history of those who persevered serves as a reminder of the fragility of freedom and the tenacity of the human spirit. In the face of institutional injustice and the dark stain of prejudice, the fate of Japanese Americans during World War II serves as a sobering reminder of the fragility of civil freedoms in times of crisis. Nearly 70,000 people, the vast majority of whom were U.S. citizens, were forcibly removed from their homes and imprisoned without due process or recourse. They suffered the humiliation of internment simply on the basis of their ethnicity, depriving them of their personal liberty, and frequently stripping them of their valuables. Despite multiple legal challenges to the government's actions, including cases heard by the United States Supreme Court, the evacuation order's constitutionality was ultimately maintained, leaving an indelible mark of shame on the nation's conscience. Despite this darkness, stories of survival and defiance surfaced. More than 30,000 Japanese Americans, including Robert Toshi Kuroda, responded to the call to serve in the military, determined to demonstrate their devotion and worth. Their choice to enlist was more than just a matter of duty, it demonstrated their unflinching dedication to the principles of freedom and democracy. Despite discrimination and suspicion, these brave individuals served with distinction in segregated units, their valor, and sacrifice demonstrating their everlasting patriotism and courage. Robert Toshi Kuroda decided to enroll because he felt a strong sense of duty and honor. Born into a world of bigotry. Despite the fact that adversity was always present, he refused to be defined by societal biases. Kuroda enlisted in the United States Army in March 1943, at the age of 20, and began a path that would take him to the battlefields of France. Despite being separated from his beloved family and hometown, his resolve and commitment to his duty remained unbroken. Kuroda's spirit and tenacity showed brilliantly as he faced the horrors of war, serving as a beacon of hope in the midst of chaos and uncertainty. Though he would not live to see his 22nd birthday, his memory would live on as a monument to the tenacity of the Japanese-American soldiers who fought valiantly and honorably during World War II. They fought not only for their nation, but also for the American ideals of fairness and equality. The 442nd Infantry Regiment Kuroda's path led him to the prestigious 442nd Regimental Fighting Team, RCT, a distinguished outfit formed in response to the War Department's request for volunteers to build a segregated Japanese-American Army fighting unit. Organized on March 23, 1943, in response to this call, the 442nd RCT had an amazing response, 
with over 12,000 Nisei volunteers stepping up to serve their country. In April 1943, 2,686 soldiers from Hawaii and 1,500 from mainland U.S. internment camps arrived at Camp Shelby, Mississippi, for a year of intense military training. These soldiers, united by their commitment and inspired by the unit's slogan, Go for Broke, set off on a trip that would test their mettle and define their legacy. The 442nd Infantry Regiment, made up mostly of Japanese-American soldiers, demonstrated its members' tenacious spirit and unflinching allegiance. At a time when Japanese-American loyalty was called into question, these troops were anxious to prove it on the battlefield. With the motto, Go for Broke, serving as their rallying cry, they faced the task with courage and conviction, willing to give up everything for the sake of triumph. Their destination was the European theater of war, where they would face the hardships of fighting and the threat of bigotry head-on. Sergeant Robert Toshi Kuroda found his place in this venerable warrior brotherhood, surrounded by comrades who shared a common sense of sacrifice and tenacity. Training was difficult, but it created an unshakable relationship among the warriors, one born of shared hardship and mutual respect. Kuroda's great courage, leadership, and unshakable loyalty to his fellow soldiers quickly garnered him respect from his commanders, laying the groundwork for his incredible journey on the battlefield. The Battle of Bruyers In the fall of 1944, against the backdrop of the war-torn Vosges Mountains in northeast France, the 442nd Infantry Regiment went on a critical mission, liberating the strategically important town of Bruyers from German domination. The terrain was harsh, the enemy entrenched, and the odds appeared insurmountable, yet the soldiers of the 442nd remained unfazed by the daunting obstacles that lay ahead. Their resolve remained unshakable, and their dedication to duty unwavering, as they prepared to face the crucible of combat. As the unit marched into enemy territory, they encountered stiff resistance at every turn. The Germans, strengthened by years of preparation and battle-hardened by the crucible of war, they were resolved to hold their ground at whatever cost. Bruyers, positioned on the edge of the German heartland, held enormous strategic importance, making its liberation a high objective for the Allies. The stage was set for a horrific showdown that would put the 442nd to the ultimate test. The Battle of Bruyers, fought with incredible ferocity and determination, would be remembered as one of World War II's most arduous and critical confrontations. For 19 days, the 442nd Infantry fought a grueling campaign against a determined opponent, overcoming hostile fire, rugged terrain, and bad weather to achieve their goal. Their bravery and sacrifice had no bounds, as they fought tooth and nail for every inch of ground. Refusing to back down in the face of overwhelming odds. However, the liberation of Bruyers did not mark the end of the conflict. The neighboring mountains, shrouded in deep forests and enveloped in mist, remained under German control, posing a continuing threat to Allied forces. Determined to win at whatever cost, the 442nd men went on, their spirits unaffected by the dangers that lay ahead. Sergeant Robert Toshi Kuroda stood out as a beacon of heroism and leadership in the midst of the conflict. On a critical mission to conquer a strategically important hill, he led his soldiers through a hail of enemy fire, inspiring them with his unwavering drive and resolve. Despite being injured in the heat of combat, Kuroda refused to give up, inspiring and motivating his fellow soldiers as they pushed forward to triumph. His acts, while seemingly insignificant in the broad scheme of war, had far-reaching implications, shifting the tide of battle and opening the path for eventual victory. Sergeant Kuroda and his comrades-in-arms saw the Battle of Bruyers as more than simply a test of their courage and resilience, it was a tribute to the human soul's tenacious spirit in the face of hardship. Theirs was a legacy formed in the crucible of struggle, one that would last long after the guns stopped firing and the echoes of war faded into history. The Medal of Honor Sergeant Robert Kuroda's actions of courage and devotion during the Battle of Bruyers drew the notice of his comrades and superiors. His outstanding courage and sacrifice under fire were acknowledged with the United States' highest military medal, the Medal of Metal. This distinguished honor, bestowed posthumously upon his bereaved family, stood as a bittersweet monument to Kuroda's unflinching dedication to duty and unwavering loyalty to his fellow troops. 
Kuroda's valiant acts on the battlefield showed the very core of the 442nd Infantry Regiment, the determination to go above and beyond the call of duty, especially in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. His final sacrifice, laying down his life to save his companions, represented the spirit of selflessness. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty. Staff Sergeant Robert Toshi Kuroda distinguished himself by extraordinary heroism in action, on October 20, 1944, near Bruyers, France. Leading his men in an advance to destroy snipers and machine gun nests, Staff Sergeant Kuroda encountered heavy fire from enemy soldiers occupying a heavily wooded slope. Unable to pinpoint the hostile machine gun, he boldly made his way through heavy fire to the crest of the ridge. Once he located the machine gun, Staff Sergeant Kuroda advanced to a point within 10 yards of the nest and killed three enemy gunners with grenades. He then fired clip after clip of rifle ammunition, killing or wounding at least three of the enemy. As he expanded the last of his ammunition, he observed that an American officer had been struck by a burst of fire from a hostile machine gun located on an adjacent hill. Rushing to the officer's assistance, he found that the officer had been killed. Picking up the officer's submachine gun, Staff Sergeant Kuroda advanced through continuous fire toward a second machine gun emplacement and destroyed the post iron. As he turned the fire up on additional enemy soldiers, he was killed by a sniper. Staff Sergeant Kuroda's courageous actions and indomitable fighting spirit ensured the destruction of enemy resistance in the sector. Staff Sergeant Kuroda's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. The 442nd Regimental Combat Team's legacy, exemplified by the courage and sacrifice of troops such as Sergeant Robert Toshi Kuroda, transcends time and memory, leaving an indelible impact on American history. Their unshakable devotion to duty and exceptional deeds of valor bear witness to the values of liberty and democracy for which they fought so valiantly. For Kuroda and his comrades, service was more than just a responsibility, it was a powerful demonstration of their dedication to the ideas of equality and justice. They stood tall in the face of adversity, demonstrating that a nation's strength is found in its variety and inclusivity rather than its uniformity. Their efforts, which have been recognized with various medals and distinctions, demonstrate the human spirit's endurance and bravery in the face of incredible adversity. Beyond the battlefield, Kuroda's impact continues to inspire generations of Japanese Americans and everyone who faces bigotry and prejudice. His narrative is a striking reminder that heroism transcends race and creed, and that the pursuit of justice and equality is a noble undertaking worthy of sacrifice. Kuroda's family ensures that his memory lives on by sharing his story with the world, serving as a beacon of hope and inspiration to those who work to make the world a better place. Monuments and memorials stand in mute respect to the bravery of the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, their actions serve as a reminder of the high cost of freedom and the lasting legacy of those who fought for it. Though time and memories fade, Sergeant Robert Toshi Kuroda and his fellow soldiers' spirits live on, as a tribute to the eternal force of courage, sacrifice, and the human spirit. In the years following World War II, Sergeant Robert Kuroda and his gallant comrades in the 442nd Infantry Regiment were honored with a permanent monument in the heart of the nation's capital. Their names were inscribed on the solemn walls of the National World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C., alongside those of countless others who had made the ultimate sacrifice in the sake of liberty. Among the hallowed ranks of heroes, Kuroda's name served as a heartbreaking reminder of the cost of liberty and the steadfast courage demonstrated by those who fought hardship with unwavering determination. However, the full depth of Sergeant Kuroda's sacrifice, along with that of his fellow troops in the 442nd Infantry Regiment, was not fully recognized until many years later. The remaining shadows of discrimination and prejudice that had previously hampered their service were eventually dissipated by the bright light of acknowledgement and healing. One of the most moving moments of appreciation was the presentation of the Congressional Gold Medal to World War II Japanese American veterans. The Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian accolade bestowed by the United States Congress, carried great significance for Japanese American veterans. 
It was not just a belated recognition of their bravery and sacrifice, but also long overdue validation of the injustices they had faced. These warriors, who had fought valiantly for a country that had previously regarded them with suspicion and disdain, were finally being recognized as the true heroes they were. The nation recognized Sergeant Robert Kuroda and his comrades-in-arms tremendous courage and steadfast patriotism by awarding them the Congressional Gold Medal. Their bravery and sacrifice, long overshadowed by the scars of discrimination, now shine as beacons of courage and perseverance. In remembering their legacy, the country reaffirmed its commitment to the ideals of equality and justice for everyone, ensuring that the sacrifices of the past were not forgotten. In the aftermath of President Barack Obama's momentous signature in 2011, the Congressional Gold Medal Ceremony unfolded as a moving chapter in American history. This prestigious award, bestowed jointly on the 442nd Regimental Combat Team, the 100th Infantry Battalion, and the Military Intelligence Service, served as a beacon of recognition for the valor and sacrifice of Japanese-American soldiers who served with unwavering dedication during World War II. The event, held within the prestigious boundaries of the Capitol Rotunda, was solemn and filled with reverence and thanks. Surviving Japanese-American veterans, their families, and officials gathered to mark the end of years of struggle and perseverance. Among the attendees was Sergeant Robert Kuroda's family, whose hearts were filled with pride as they witnessed the climax of his courageous legacy. For them, the Congressional Gold Medal was more than just a sign of honor. It was a monument to the indomitable spirit of a man who battled hardship with steadfast determination. The medal, emblazoned with the 442nd Infantry Regiment emblem, was handed to veterans or their families as a concrete show of gratitude for their selfless devotion and unflinching dedication to duty. More than a show of gratitude, it was a solemn commitment to remember and commemorate the sacrifices of those who fought and died for the values of liberty and democracy. In celebrating the courage of Japanese-American warriors, the country made an important step toward reconciliation, admitting past injustices while embracing a future based on unity and mutual respect. Sergeant Robert Kuroda and his comrades-in-arms' memory was preserved via this act of honor and remembering, demonstrating the continuing power of courage, sacrifice, and unity. Sergeant Robert Kuroda and the Japanese-American veterans of World War II left a lasting legacy that transcended time and memory. As the Congressional Gold Medal gained recognition in museums, libraries, and homes across the country, it became more than just a symbol of past valor. It became a source of inspiration for future generations. The medal served as a focal point for discussions about heroism, sacrifice, and the ongoing quest for justice. The gleaming surface and engraved inscriptions revealed the story of a generation that overcame adversity, rejected prejudice, and fought for the values of liberty and democracy. It reminded everyone who saw it of the strength of the human spirit and the transformational power of solidarity in the face of hardship. Sergeant Kuroda's narrative, in particular, has continued to fascinate hearts and minds, demonstrating the lasting impact of one man's courage and conviction. His name, forever engraved alongside those of his companions, was a symbol of the human spirit's triumph over injustice and persecution. It provided as a reminder that even in the darkest of circumstances, individuals have the ability to make a difference by standing up for what is right and just, and inspiring others to do the same. As years passed, Sergeant Robert Kuroda's memory remained in the hearts of people who recalled his name, acts, an unflinching commitment to freedom, his narrative became a symbol of hope, resilience, and the human spirit's ability to overcome even the most difficult obstacles. In celebrating his legacy, we reaffirmed our dedication to the principles of justice, equality, and freedom for all. In a world that still grapples with division and uncertainty, the story of Sergeant Robert Kuroda and the Japanese-American veterans served as a reminder of the strength that could be found in diversity, the power of unity, and the importance of standing up for what was right. Their journey from discrimination to recognition was a testament to the human capacity for resilience and the potential for positive change, a legacy that would inspire generations to come. A Grateful Nation Sergeant Robert Kuroda's incredible journey, from the tranquil streets of his village in Japan to the battlefields of Europe, embodied the spirit of the American dream, a land of limitless potential and diversity. 
His memory, intertwined with the stories of bravery and sacrifice of his 442nd Infantry Regiment compatriots, continues to resonate with succeeding generations, acting as a constant source of inspiration and courage. The Medal of Honor conferred upon him served not only as a testament to his own courage and sacrifice, but also as a symbol of hope and resilience in a world still recovering from the effects of war. Its glittering presence lighted the way ahead, reminding those who saw it of the enduring force of bravery and selflessness. The discovery of Kuroda's high school class ring, 77 years after his death on the battlefield, represented a poignant full-circle moment in his narrative. The ring, discovered in the mud and wreckage of a distant woodland, provided as a concrete link to Kuroda's past, a treasured relic from his youth that represented his quest of knowledge and commitment to assisting others. The return of the ring to the Kuroda family, facilitated by Sebastian Ruhr, provided closure and solace, linking the past and present. Their trip to France to express appreciation and pay respects to their departed ancestor, followed by Ruhr's return to Hawaii to honor Kuroda's memory, represented a powerful circle of gratitude and remembrance. Ruhr's deed of respect and regard closed the circle at Honolulu's National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific, Punchbowl, where Kuroda sleeps in eternal peace, by underlining the enduring tie between past and present, sacrifice and gratitude. Respect and gratitude rang beyond time and space as they honored Sergeant Robert Kuroda, a man who lost his life for the fight of freedom, demonstrating the enduring impact of one man's heroism and sacrifice. In addition, if you want to voice your opinion, try making a thorough documentary about this issue or the extraordinary Sergeant Robert Kuroda. This documentary delves into the depths of his life story, revealing his incredible journey, courage among the turmoil of the battlefield, and the lasting relevance of his legacy. Making such a documentary would be a fitting tribute to Kuroda and the Japanese-American veterans of World War II, exposing their achievements and sacrifices for the advancement of mankind. I want you to express your personal thoughts and reactions to the documentary in the comments area. Use this chance to express your respect for Kuroda's unrelenting tenacity and resilience, as well as your thanks for the sacrifices made by him and his friends. Encourage viewers to subscribe to your YouTube channel in order to join our ever-growing community, and ask them to help spread the word by sharing the video with their friends and family. By raising awareness about this important piece of history, we can ensure that Sergeant Robert Kuroda's and his fellow veterans' legacy lives on and inspires future generations. Through the creation and distribution of this documentary, you have the ability to honor Sergeant Robert Kuroda's legacy in a profound and enduring way, ensuring that his narrative resonates with audiences for years to come.